The universe that Cyberpunk 2077 is set in is an incredibly rich one. Over the course of four editions of the pen and paper tabletop RPG, the Cyberpunk universe has told some incredible stories, shown us memorable characters, immersed us in a world full of history and lore that you could spend dozens upon dozens of hours poring over. With CD Projekt Red's upcoming Cyberpunk 2077, that universe is bound to get even deeper and richer especially with creator Mike Pondsmith having served a pretty important role as a consultant during the game's development. Over the last few weeks, we've spent quite a bit of time talking about various things from this universe, from characters and conflicts to corporations and Night City itself. But what we're here to talk about today is perhaps one of Cyberpunk's most unique and as such most interesting elements. What we're here to talk about today is brain dancing. Brain dancing isn't necessarily a crucial part of the cyberpunk universe, especially when compared to some of the other lore features we've done in recent weeks, and it remains to be seen how vital a role it will play in the upcoming game's story, but it is still something that bears talking about. Before we get to that though, perhaps we should answer one very simple question. What exactly is brain dancing? Well, the short and rather reductive description is that it's net running light, although even that's not entirely technically true. Brain dance is essentially a form of sonic excursions into memories and psychology and sensation all rolled into one. Similar to netrunning, brain dance involves neural interfacing to recreate and live an entirely augmented alternate reality. But unlike netrunning, the interface isn't done with the net, but with recorded thoughts and memories. But doesn't that just mean brain dance is a fancy way of saying you can watch videos and movies in your head? Well, no, it's more than that. Because when a person is experiencing a brain dance, they're not just witnessing recorded events, they're experiencing it more or less firsthand, as if those events were happening to themselves right there and right then. Because all the sensations that the person in the recording was feeling during the event, and all the thoughts they were thinking are also felt and thought by whoever's reliving that memory. As you can probably imagine, something like that can have a lot of applications, and in the universe of cyberpunk, brain dance has plenty of uses as well. In the cyberpunk universe, the process of brain dance's creation first began in the year 2007, and when it was first created, its first major use came in criminal reform. The process of getting that application approved was a long and complicated one, with many stumbles along the way, but once it was finally approved, the results were rather… interesting, for a lack of a better word. Criminals who had been convicted of what were described as anti-social crimes would be made to experience brain dance recreations of similar crimes themselves, over and over, like a very direct and very aggressive method of aversion therapy. And quite often these criminals, who would have now faced the horrors of crimes similar to the ones that they committed themselves, would have an entirely different outlook on their actions and how to conduct themselves in the future. But, of course, as is the case with most things in the cyberpunk universe, or most other universes taking place in a cyberpunk setting, people found a way to turn Braindance into a commercial product. Its application for criminal reform would continue, and Braindance would later be picked up for things such as psychotherapy and military training as well. But as you might have guessed, Braindance eventually became one of the biggest and most widespread mediums of entertainment as well, essentially replacing archaic mediums such as film and television. With people now able to experience, say, the thrills of action sequences much more closely, or able to more or less live out the day in a life of a global celebrity as if they were in their own shoes, Brain Dance caught on in popularity like wildfire. In fact, much of the Night City's poorer population went on to suffer from a widespread problem of Brain Dance addiction. Eager to escape from their own poverty-ridden lives, people would instead want to vicariously live out luxurious lives of superstars and celebrities through Brain Dance. Of course, the process of recording a brain dance is different from the process of, say, filming a movie. Viewers of brain dances tend to prefer spontaneity and authenticity, which means that traditional ideas of entertainment involving scripts and what have you no longer have any place. Actors are instead given vague, general descriptions of the plot and given the freedom to fill in the rest themselves, so that brain dance recordings can strike that balance between being scripted and still having that spontaneity that viewers cherish so much. On top of that, however, there are many in the world of cyberpunk who have found shadier ways to use brain dance as well. The mass-produced brain dance chips that form the backbone of the public-facing corporate brain dance industry are, of course, regulated, but there are many illicit chips in circulation as well. 
Some of these chips are used for less than wholesome forms of entertainment, but others have darker, much more dangerous implications as well. For starters, experiencing somebody's death through brain dance can cause severe trauma to the viewer. Even though the viewer themselves aren't experiencing any physical pain to themselves, the sudden and severe shock of feeling and experiencing all the thoughts and sensations that go along with, well, death, can be a traumatic experience, at times even to the extent of causing the viewer's heart to stop functioning. Meanwhile, brain dance chips distributed through the black market have also been used to alter personalities altogether through subliminal suggestions. We do know that brain dance is going to figure into Cyberpunk 2077, and CD Projekt Red have even shown some of it in action. We know it's going to manifest in gameplay as well, with players viewing and scrubbing through recordings of events, for instance, to investigate crime scenes, or play back crucial events, and through all of that, spot hidden details that might reveal vital new information. Sort of like a much more expanded version of the crime scene investigations in Batman Arkham Origins. That seems like the closest comparison at first glance anyway. How heavily Brain Dance will be featured as a gameplay mechanic or how much of a role it's going to play in the story remains to be seen, but one thing's clear right off the bat. Just looking at the lore that CD Projekt Red have to work with here, there are some really interesting things that they can do with this concept. It may be a significant chunk of the story, it may be something that comes into play on the fringes, or it may be something that's limited to certain kinds of quests or activities. One way or another, we're excited to see how CD Projekt Red implement this concept into their game. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.